Check, check. Okay, I think my volume's okay. Uh, let me see. Let me tweet. Just give me one second, we will get started here. Tell you what, I can switch this so you can see my pretty face while I set the rest of this up. All right, I'm gonna get started. All OT, thank you for the follow. Let me also Okay. Sorry for the delay. I promised the end of that last stream that I would make a discord server and I didn't do it 
uh, until just now. So that's a thing that exists. If you are a regular viewer, first time viewer, etc., feel free to join. Uh, there's a link on my Twitter, uh, and I will post it in chat by request. Or maybe I'll just regularly post it. I don't know. I'll figure it out. It exists now. I am waiting. If you've got principles. One of these days, I should really figure out how all the big fancy streamers just like automate this. Whoops, that's that's my Twitter link. That's not what I want. You can follow me on Twitter, but I don't actually post that often there. At least not my own unique thoughts that often. There we go. Interesting, I have my own sub badge for my own channel, at least in my own chat. That's how it looks to me. All right, Renee. Still, worth a shot. Else I can assist you with, officer. We still have a game to finish. They're still working on this game? It's been like several days. Do Maybells mean anything to you? The old name. It is Lindian Lily. Girls brought them to young cadets when they entered service. Playing them on your cast was supposed to bring good luck. Tell you what, while I am. Is this a royalist military tradition? Used to be. But the communards were fond of them too. Called them revolutionary flowers. Bells of the revolution. Did they bring you good luck? No. They brought me misery. False hope. And disappointment. The revolutionary sullied them. You stirred up some bad memories, Lin. Bad well, memories? It wasn't the revolutionaries that sullied the ideas for you, was it? She gave them to me, too. And your jealous little heart just couldn't accept it. Enough! I will go over these matters in detail with you, Gaston. But not while we have company. So, officer. Uh-oh, is it still blocking links? Let me... See, is there a way I can make you like a VIP or something? Uh, I don't know how to fix this. It's all good. Uh... Maybe it's don't gloss on you, you don't. Yeah, I'll play the video. Uh let's 
tell you what, you can, I think if I didn't mess up the permissions there too, you should be able to just share the link in the Discord and then I can pull it up here. Uh, how do I, I think I don't actually have my browser captured. How do I do that? Let me see here. There's usually just a desktop audio channel, but I can't find it for some reason. So let me try this. Uh, hold on. How does this work? Okay, create new window capture. Uh, I don't know if they're visible, but if they are, disregard the 8 million tabs that I have open. Oh no, is my Wi-Fi that bad? <laughs> Come on. Or maybe it's my computer that doesn't like. Come on. I love that video. I forget if that was, I forget where that was originally posted. If that was like a TikTok or a Vine thing, or maybe it was just a YouTube thing. I forget where I first saw that. But now that we have the context, let's watch this Twitter clip. Vine, okay, I miss Vine. I mean, TikTok's kind of like Vine, but there's just something about Vine. The vibe was different. Some remote parts of the city they do. 
but I think you'll have to wait for at least a month. Ooh, that's loud. <laughs> Oh, they actually, like, worked on this game. That's amazing. <laughs> That's good. I like that. That was worth the, uh... That was worth the effort it took to get there. <laughs> Also, thank you for the subscription. No, you are good. That is, that was all me not knowing uh, how to do a lot of things. Okay, so talking to Renee did not lead anywhere as interesting as I had hoped. Let's see. What are some other things I can redo here? Ooh, the bullet holes. Uh, I should check that out. Because those were probably important. <laughs> Real will do it live energy. <laughs> That must be such an old clip by now, but I still love it. Just that total live TV breakdown. Let's see, I think the bullet holes were this way. Thirteen years old. Wow, that is... That's old. Yeah, I am 24, almost 25. So, that clip is potentially at least, at least like half as old as I am. Let's try this. Unable to piece together the big picture just now. There's a hole in there. The Fine, okay. What are some other things I can work on? Because <laughs> to get the story from Titus, we have to... What was the check? I'm sure it'll tell me here somewhere. Rhetoric. Not my best skill. <laughs> uh... So... Let's see, all these checks at the top are probably the ones I can actually do. So I got two up by the church. I think I might focus on those. Uh, I forget where... I think I need to go stand by where my little house thing is.
I need to find something to do. Because I'm going to need to get some experience to boost my rhetoric, if nothing else. So let's see. Where do I stand a... Oh, right. I probably have to be in the village. That's probably what I'm doing wrong. If I stand next to this lady. There we go. Church. So there is... Oh yeah, I can work on... Uh... What's it called? I can get the dance club to open. Because they wanted me to talk to the lady in here. I can also redo of humanism stands above this check. I have a very low chance of passing it, but it's worth a try. Just the edge of the correct spot. Yeah. Yes, what is it? What if you didn't have to leave? I talked to Andre and he I wants want to, make to make it work. work. Hold on, you don't want to make anything yes, work? Anything. I don't want to make anything work. It's not the melodic dance music that's made her bitter. It's the failure of Fortress Accident. Ooh, should I bring this up? Are you bitter because your radio game project right. failed? If we couldn't get our well things to happen, I don't want anything to happen. Ever again. There's not a trace of irony in her voice. She Ooh. Finally, a check I am likely to pass. <laughs> uh, convince her to cooperate. Easy. When our research is done, she can move out. Listen, about your research, you mentioned earlier that it's not going well. Maybe what? I can help with something. No. I don't really need any help with the project. But if I could help you finish the project, then you wouldn't have to live in a church next to the Boom Boom anymore. Just think she about it. thinks about it. A glassy look in her eyes. A gust of wind brings more snow in from the broken gallery. It touches her hair. All right. Bring me the game's off-site copy from my old workspace, if you really want to help. It's stored on a filament memory, and I'm unable to go and fetch it myself. By your old workspace, do you mean the studio of Fortress Accident in the doomed yeah, commercial area? Yeah, that's the one. You can get in through the bookshop. You just have to do some explaining to the bookstore lady. Actually, I've already been inside yeah. the doomed commercial then area. Then you might know the giant ice bear fridge in the building's cellar. The filament is inside the fridge. Just go and get it. Where exactly is the offsite copy? Copy? Yeah. I just told you. It has a But you've been to the fridge and it wasn't there. There was a note saying. I found a note from the ice bear fridge that said the offsite copy had been moved to Wait, a safer place. A note from whom? Did it specify where they took the filament memory? It said the offsite copy had been taken to a nearby ice cream maker. The note was signed by someone named Sulisla? Jarisa. Of course. Our project lead, Sulisvov Javiza. God, he was always so hell bent on keeping the copy somewhere safe. A bitch or two from the Valley of the Hell. Like it would have made a difference. The offside copy was perfectly safe when the Daedalus happened. That Daedalus was anomalous. And the head. I won't even get into the head. Millions of them. Go find that copy from that ice cream maker, will you? Thanks. I found the ice cream maker, but couldn't get it open. It's completely this frozen. Ridiculous. Can't you just defrost it? Or, I don't know. I don't know about the ice cream maker. Just figure something out. There's a solution. But she doesn't want to hand it over to you yet. It's a thing. Something she holds dear. A solution she doesn't want to hand it over to you yet. Why can't you the go and get the filament yourself? 
says I'm part of the curse. Whatever that means. Why does she because think you're part of the curse? Martinez, and people from Martinez have never ever seen a radio computer. She thinks it emits elemental evil. Uh, I feel like she probably wouldn't respond too well to most of these, so let's go with they don't really like to get with the times. She started praying for the higher powers when she first saw my range city. I'm not making this up. The lieutenant coughs like he's amused. Once I came in one morning, only to find that my terminal was full of those strange trinkets and amulets. Wards. It looked like some seminine magic. Uh, all right, I'll go look for the offsite copy. And here's my Falsun's move tool. You might need it to hack loose some ice. It opens everything. If you get me the offsite copy, then you can keep the Falsun. Ooh, it that's good. For her to say this. She's not too happy to be parting with the cabal soon. Okay, I'll let her work in peace. So that was a bunch of good stuff. Um, I think it was rhetoric was the stat we needed for Titus. Uh, let's see. Where is it? Rhetoric, okay. So, if I bump up the rhetoric, that'll let me retry Titus's check. Maybe I should also just, um, I should go through all of my clothes and see if I have anything that bumps up rhetoric. Because I've got a bunch of stuff now. And I haven't really been min-maxing in the way that I probably could be or should be. So Oh, I can also redo the cargo container door. I keep forgetting about that one. Uh, let's see. Everything I want to do is somewhere near here. So Oops. Start, I need to hit it here. Let me see. Anything that has rhetoric. Minus one. That boosts something. Oh, I should have put all this like visual calculus stuff on when I uh Did that. Let me see. Logic, logic. There's just not a lot of stuff that boosts rhetoric, is there? Nope. Actually, nothing. I guess that makes sense. Like, wearing a cool shirt can do a lot of things. It probably can't make you better at public speaking. Let's try this. Start there we go. Home, then work your way up from there. This is about business, remember. You seem like a really successful entrepreneur. Would you like to support a member of the oh, local police force? Okay. But why, officer? After all this mess, the broken seal, lying to you, come on. 
Think of it as an, an investment. investment. What kind of investment? Uh, I'm a policeman. It's a it's an investment in good relations I with the RCM. What kind of a sum are we talking about here? Uh, let's go with ten real. Like a fair deal all around. Corruption. It's just like bus or seagull. A kid watching out of a window, describing things going by. He doesn't like it too much, but what do you do? I mean, we gotta get money. <laughs> Let's see. So... Let's try talking to Titus again. Three percent chance. Convince there we go. Manipulated. Bad idea. Bringing her up will do no good. You should know by now. Titus will never falter. But you know someone who might. One of his boys Titus, will. Angus, the powerful guy, Mister All Muscle. The time has come. Put him in the pressure cooker. Just remember, it's about more than Glazia. It's about these men and Martinez, their district, their responsibility. Good. I like this. This guy is learning. That's it then. Case closed. We're going to come home, Kim. He'll get it. Go on. Write it down, Kim. In Martinez, they just kill you because they don't like you. Kill you because they don't like you. All because. Uh, because of some chick. One more time, and you won't get to write that report. The man's fists under the table are bored. You can tell from his neck and shoulders. He needs it. Yes, I understand, Alain. That's your name, right? Alain? You'll kill us. That's what they do in the wild north. Oh, well, let's see. Just hang you like in the dark ages, make a display of your dead. corpse. It wasn't. We just couldn't get him down, okay? That's it. That's the weak one. You flushed him out. Now go in for the officer. You will be next if you don't shut up. Firearm. A glass zero eight or a thirty-eight caliber pistol. Either is small enough for you to have missed. He's onto you. He knows what you're trying to do. Uh, let's see. I mean, we want to put the pressure on Angus, right? We didn't kill him. We didn't even hang him. He was dead when... <laughs> Shut up, Angus. He was dead before you hanged him? Say one more thing to the cops and I'll... Dennis, stand down or I'll beat your head in. Theo, take your hand off the belt. This isn't 31. 
I've got this under control. The room falls quiet. So quiet, you could hear Angus wheeze. Angie, where's your goddamn inhaler? You sound like you're dying. I left it home. I can't get it. I'm too fucked. I'm sorry. Why are you so fucking fat, Angus? Now it's all pointless. Because of you. You wasted my time. I told you, Titus. I told you just give her up. Listen, your help is no longer needed here. Go tell our boss. Fine. I'll tell him. After a long walk along the coast. What just happened between these two? You're in. He's all yours. Question. So you didn't kill him, he was already dead. You hanged the corpse to cover up the real cause of death. The bullet in his head. Another nod. Why? The girls asked us to. They were in some shit. Girls plural. There's another girl. Two of them. Take note of this. They'll probably say Two girls. I guess we already know about the um truck driver who's disappeared at some point. So maybe it's Klausje and the truck driver, like, together Shit. somehow? Cop, I have no idea. The girl says she didn't. He doesn't think she did. Or at least he hopes she didn't. What happened Klausje Sunday night? Klausje came down. She seemed really out of it. Drugged up even more than usual. Bug-eyed and gurning, you know? Not in a fun way. It looked like she'd redosed after something went down. I've seen that look before. She was scared. I knew someone had died. I I've done know. this job for ten years. I've seen it before. It's the politician in the motel room with the dead hooker scenario. Only in reverse. Good analogy, boss. <laughs> you don't get to talk yet, Shanky. You're still on the bench. And you keep taking it easy, too. What happened then? Upstairs. Sure as day the Merkel did it. And there was a bullet hole through the window. Uh, fucking dirty sheets and bottles everywhere. He means they've been fucking. Tibbs patched the window. And the corpse. We hanged it. Who's Tibbs? Nah, the eighth party? He's my brother. He's in the window replacement. Oh, okay. If Klausia didn't kill him, why the cover-up? I have noticed our girl's in some shit of her own. Um... Pointing out that Klausia has done sketchy things has not gone well in the past so i'm gonna play dumb here they can't show up on police radar kind there are people after it from the old old world where she came from these people They're who are they connected to the more lantern she's clearly afraid for her life says if she showed up in your systems she'd be ghosted away and why would you help someone like that by taking on a murder why would I? I guess we abide all sorts of runaways and losers here. It's a Martinez thing. So who killed the Merc then? Uh, Any leads? Just some ideas. She says the shot came from outside, behind the window somewhere. So that's a clue. What are you I'm thinking? thinking? Someone's past caught up with him. Either hers or his. Hers, you mean? I mean the people after Klausia. Maybe the shot missed. Maybe it was meant for her. I like that. Been thinking the same thing myself. And you had ideas about his past too? One of those mercenary buddies of his could have done it. They got guns. Training. Years of bad blood probably. Or 
could have been someone else from Cremel. Tell you what I'd do. Check out the coast for vantage points. Maybe consult with a ballistics buddy of mine. That's what I'd do. If I wasn't too busy doing this clown dance with you. Whose idea was it to hang him anyway? Hers? Speaking. Remember the two girls? We may be talking about the other one. Earlier you said the girls asked for your help. Was this the other girl? That's right. It was her idea to hang him. I liked it for political reasons. It sent a good message. It's her, isn't it? The drug trafficker, the missing eighth hearty. Fella, if you think too much, he's off all right. You're gonna hurt your head. A little too far then, but you're definitely right. That woman is just affiliated with the Hardy Boys. You don't know her anyway. Understood. Can you tell me anything about her name, nope. current location? You're not getting to her. It's Klausia you want to talk okay. to. Okay. Thank you for the status. I'll talk to her for the last time. Hey, cop. Before you go. Suddenly, the wind picks up outside. You hear it rattling the large windows in their frames. It carries newspapers, circles the whirling in rags in a warm column. Gee, Klausia came to Martinez to hide. Many of us did. This is where you wash up when there is nowhere left to go. The Union takes you in. Now, she refused that protection, but... Still, after all this headache... But you would still prefer if we That's didn't right. take her away. If we didn't take care of the people who end up here, this place would just be a couple of rooms and some cargo containers. We'll take that into account. Okay, so let's check out all these thoughts that are finishing up. It's not only your eardrums that register sound anymore. Your very skin has become an organ of hearing. Looking for a whisper, light and low. A god who's very, very silent. Nothing escapes you. A cockroach in the other room. A candy wrapper falling on dry grass. A drunk falling from a chair in a bar 20 meters away. In fact, you haven't heard the call du Mama Dakwa, but you have discovered that you have amazing hearing. It must be the only part of you the alcohol hasn't drowned out. Keep listening. Ooh, plus three perception. Well, that is really good. <clears throat> Task Force has assembled God's avenging angel, arrayed against the lower emanation of the darkened one. Shoe racks, tape recorders, motor carriages, and doors. So many doors. You're not just pounding it all to pieces. You're reforging the universe from the anvil of the heavens to the worms below. Indulge in it. Be bold. Have an impact on the shape of creation out of the furnace of your rage a new reality also you should trash your room again Ooh, those are both pretty good so now we should have i imagine a whole bunch of at least perception stuff to work with why can I go to the Hawthorn tree again? What changed that? A barred door. Which one was the barred door? Oh, I think I remember actually. Perception of seven. It's pretty good. So now we'll go talk to Klaasje. Klaasje? I don't know how to pronounce her name. <clears throat> and they've been pronouncing it. 
Thank you for the 200 bits. Those are my first bits ever. So thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Twitch has been real fun for me. It's, I think it's almost been a year and a half. Let's see, I started streaming March of 2020. So yeah, it's probably about a month and a half. That's pretty cool. I didn't even like think about that. This window is Okay, that's the window that was replaced. We already kind of know about that. I'd have to like go back and check what day I originally streamed on, if that's even something Twitch keeps track of. I know I could probably check when my first upload was. These loading screens are a little long. I wonder if it's because I'm on like the basic PS4 and not the PS4 Pro. It's always good to see you. Something in her demeanor has changed. She's tired, consigned to her fate, to being here with you and what's to come. The Hardy Boys told us what really happened. Just like that, no resistance. Her shoulders are slouched, her feet grew hungry and stray. Oh, uh, let's see. You don't look surprised you were I expecting knew there was this. A chance I'd get them to tell you. It's what you do. You're the boy. For what it's worth, I'm sorry for wasting your time. This is good. Clear the air first, between you two. Then move on to questions. No, it's not good. It's the opposite of that. This will let her dictate the terms of your life. Let me see. Shush, I can't hear what she's saying. Let the miss speak. She's tall. Oh, I do thin, remember. Tired. It was like a volition check or something that told me that when she talks to me, like all of these things are actually lying to me or something. I should keep that in mind. If you knew we would find out eventually, why did you waste our time? Yeah, Kim, ask the real because questions. I couldn't just dispense with them. They were only trying to help me. It's not like the shit I've got it into. Is she implying the Hardy Boys are the law? Um, let's see. The Hardy Boys are not the law, we are. But the people around here, they don't see it that way. And if I am to stay here, I need to get along with them. That's not a good enough reason. There's more. More? If we answer to the coalition government, then by extension, the moral injury. Okay, my very first stream was uploaded to YouTube March 26th of 2020. So we are almost at exactly... Uh, a month and a, or a year and a half, not a month and a half. Briefly glancing over her shoulder to the sea, as she's done time and time again. Where the cold oceanic expanse lies, 
and behind it, another world. Uh, let's see. I don't know why it like automatically scrolls down. Let's see. What's the RCM's involvement with the moral intern the got to do with this? Them. You send people to their courts. What's going on? Just what did you do? Business. But bad business for some people in the moral intern. If I show up in your records, officer, they will find me. They will. What happens if they do? They will kill me, sir. If you fire my name, take me in for questioning, enter me into the moral intern now. Well, then I'm fucked. For nothing. This murder didn't have anything to do with me. What did you do to it's have these nice, people after you? But it's not illegal. Not here in Levishore. Or even in Orania. What exactly did you do? Industrial espionage. I joined a business collective with the intention of betraying me. I did my job well enough to be asked to do it again. With a bigger company. The kind you really, really don't fuck with. I took their ledgers. Two decades worth of accounting. I need the names of the companies involved. And who hired you. The job was the Eastern County Savings Bank. They sound small, but they're part of the Lou Scott conglomerate. That was the second job. The first was some printer company. You wouldn't know them. As to who hired me for the job, I don't know. But they're after me too. Along with Lou Scott and their friends in the MI. Once you're done in the competitive intelligence circuit, you don't have allies. You're radioactive. Uh, hmm. Serves them right. When I am king, this savings bank will be the first against the wall. This was not a joke. Real people lost their jobs. Mm. Not just in the C-suite either. Good people. What I did to get to accounting. A lot of people got hurt. But that's just more of my shit you shouldn't have to deal with. You're solving a murder. What happened we here the night he died? Together. In bed, I mean. Tell me exactly what happened. He was in a kneeling position. He had just entered me. I was on my back, looking at him. I heard the window behind me shatter, and I turned to look. There was a hole in the glass. I turned back to him. His eyes were looking through me, and his mouth was open, dumb. I could see. I could. A great pain moves through her, a dark and indefinite wave. She continues. In spite of it. I knew he was dead before he fell down on top of me. Wait, so if it came through the window, if it's the window up here, then someone would have had to have been on this roof that night. You were right. He did enjoy the moment of his death. Yeah, I think better not to mention it. Then what scared. happened? I pushed him off and he fell to the floor. There. He only had his boots on. I bit the pillow, not to scream, then ran downstairs. I waited for the second shot to come. For me. I thought there would be one. It never came. She's forgotten about her cigarette. The butt has burned right down to her fingernail. Um... Your cigarette, miss. Uh, I'm sorry this happened to you. What time was this? When did it happen? It would help us if you could be as precise as possible. 11.30 to 12.15. 
I don't know the exact time. Around midnight. It's okay. Were you inebriated? Not as much as usual. He'd done a line, plus other things. I was drinking. Wait. Titus said she was gurning her jaw off much more than usual. Uh, Titus said you were pretty know. high. I did one of his lines, just to clear my head. Good thinking. Clear your head. You should clear your head. Get into his mindset. Did you hear or see the shooter in the frosted booth? No. What did you Nothing. do then? I was trapped. I was stuck in my room downstairs. I got some clothes on and crawled back up through the blinds. Blood was coming from his mouth. Not a lot, just a little. He was still on the floor, slouched. I couldn't be there with him anymore. So I ran down and out of my room, into the hallway, down the stairs. I knew there would be people there. Uh, what happened the after you ran downstairs? A lot of people were there. The Hardys were at the table in front of the stage. I think the union box was full. Ruby was there too. They were having such a good time. I sat down and they all welcomed me. I didn't even have to say anything. Ruby knew something was wrong. Ruby? Before we continue, who Ruby. is Ruby? You know, the leader. The leader? Of what? The Hardy Boys. Oh, is our mysterious missing person the real leader? Hmm. I thought well, Hardy was the leader of the Hardy yes. Boys. Ruby's the one they go to when things happen, like things they need taken care of. She's the organizer. This Ruby, in her phrasing, is entrusted with great power. She trusts her. So do the others. Would you say she is the fake Hardy Boy? Why not? Okay, let's well, go on. What then? Ruby said, let's talk upstairs. I showed her the room. I've known these people since December. They know my situation. But I can't leave a paper trail. Ruby was the first one I told. She said she'd take care of this. That's what she does, you know. Take care of things. I helped her get the body to the bathroom. We used a belt to pull him up under the shower. To keep him upright. To mislead you. They were tampering with the body. To produce lividity, matching a hanging? Yes. We completely missed the tampering. Looks like you got there in time. What was this, 20 minutes after death? Oops. About 20, yes. Ruby explained it would make the blood... You know what it does. Then what did Ruby you do? Ruby went outside to talk to Titus and the boys. I was just looking at Lely in the bathroom. I had to put his clothes back on, his armor too. It was tough, but I've seen him take it off and put it on many times. It took Ruby maybe half an hour to come back with Titus. I'd gotten him ready by then. We carried him out. I knew what they were going to do, to make it look like a hanging. Ruby said they would. What did you do while they were hanging him? She also said I wouldn't see her for a while, that we should lay low or something. So I did. This Ruby, where is this Ruby I now? I haven't seen her since. We will need to take this question to the Hardy Boys. Ah, uh, back to Hardy. <laughs> I'm noticing there's a lot of back and forth with these conversations between uh, Klaja and Hardy. Uh, when it happened, when did you hear shot? a gunshot? I may have. I don't know. I couldn't hear anything over the glass exploding. The gunshot wasn't that loud. This is something to keep in mind when assessing the distance. Gunshot the wasn't that loud. Then it probably wouldn't have been directly outside the window. It would have had to be somewhere with a view of it. What? Why would I put myself through this? It's insanity. 
you would I think I shouldn't have asked this question. But I would never hurt her. All kinds of crazy things happen in this. It could have been a desire murder. Maybe an act of jealousy. Um. I think it's better not to... get her thinking that we think she did it or that other people are saying she did it because that'll just make her more defensive because the people That's after the you have killed him my head when I heard the glass break and I thought they found me they killed him to punish me all last week I've tried not to talk to anyone or be seen with anyone so they wouldn't be hurt. I've come to understand, however, this is paranoia. What happened didn't have anything to do with me. Um, probably better not to encourage that kind of paranoid thought, even if there is some merit to it. Let's just go with it probably didn't. I don't know anything anymore. All I do is wait. We can't go after Lewis Cap. Not yet. There are others. Same as we. I don't ask you to, Lieutenant. But there's one thing I know. It's that you'll get nothing from me. Why did you call the cops if you're hiding? Which is an indicator of truth. I don't think so. Why did you do it? people around here no one was making the call and he kept rotting and then they took his clothes off and that little fucker turned it up just a smidge her jaw is clenched her throat moves it takes all her strength not to cave in and sob once just one time he kept throwing stones at him for three days I could hear the thud, thud. So I called you. I hope with all my so heart in a roundabout way, Rachel. we would never have found this case if it weren't for Kuno. Kuno is the best character. <laughs> oh God, that was a lie too. Who made the call then? Don't be paranoid, man. It's unbecoming of a police officer, and it makes you sweat. When was the window Last changed? Week, Angus and Titus's brother, a fiend called Tibbs, took care of it. Um, I think we're done she here for now. Silently, she doesn't. Um, he's thinking. Are we done here, or should we arrest her? She's a flight risk and she lied to you. She should be taken into custody. Uh, I want to read what it said. She's a flight risk and she lied to you. She should be taken into custody. In God's name, wake up. We got a 42% chance. Let's just go for it. But we are awake, sire. She has been forthcoming with sordid detail. You've been breached for a walk. You, so you say. But give us one example of deceit. Just one example. Um. I remember doubting she made the call she made to the police. No doubt. A lady. Try not to sweat so profusely within her presence. It looks like this one's not waking up. You'll have to do it without pushing her further. At least for now. Um. I noticed your room is close to mine. I have a personal yes. question. We're just one room away. Very personal. Uh, 
That's all I just wanted to establish that. I don't know that I want the answer to that. We've already pieced together that I was not great. As you look back, you think, so love did do him in after all. I was right. If it weren't for her, he would not have been there. The shot would not have connected with his soft palate. I don't know. I feel like saying this is kind of rude. So I'm just not going to. Much as I want to see all there is to offer. Now they, it was a white check, but they did say she's a flight risk. So my concern is if I like progress the story, will she run away? I don't know. I mean, I don't have nearly enough skill points. Or, I don't have any skill points. I don't have nearly any, uh, whatchamacallit. Actually, assuming she doesn't just leave as soon as I exit the room there, I wonder if I put on clothes that boost my drama, if that will reopen the skill check. Let's try it. Hopefully she didn't just like disappear as soon as my back was turned. Okay. Okay, so drama. Jake interfacing. Okay, I need to keep my necktie on, so I can't use that, unfortunately. Empathy, logic, ooh, that's an outfit. <laughs> Officer, what brings you up here in the rain? Nope. Okay, still locked. Uh, there's just nothing I can do there, it looks like. Where is my just like regular shirt? Plus one conceptualization, minus one suggestion, or rhetoric and empathy. I think I'll take the rhetoric. And what was the other thing I was wearing? There was a different jacket I was wearing, I'm pretty sure. And now I don't know what it was. Oh, a spirit, the corpse, and shivers. I think I'm okay with everything. Okay, let's roll with this.
All right, let's talk to the Hardy Boys. Wait, is that a reference to like the Hardy Boys books? Am I just getting that? Is that is that a thing? I haven't read those in so long. again what is it let's just ask him I talked to Klaze and now I need to talk to Why? Ruby um I think questioning Titus's authority is not the move. This could be an answer, but I don't know how he would take it. This is obviously like a joke answer that won't get me what I want. This obviously won't get him to cooperate. Also obviously won't get him to cooperate. This is the one I'm like leaning towards. And this also probably won't. So I guess it's between option six and option two. So I like the appeal of this one. A civil war is brewing and the only way to prevent it is to solve the Myrtle. Er, murder, that means talking to Ruby. Sounds like you want to push this steaming pile of shit. I think he would have responded with that no matter what I picked. <laughs> Ruby's one of us. We're not gonna throw her under your Mara Lantern steamroller. Fuck that shit. And fuck you too, Mara Lantern. Ruby is missing. If you hide from the police in a murder investigation, you become a suspect. You know how it works, right? That's nothing. That's just legalese. You don't even have a sound theory. I don't want to be rude. We're trying to get some R and R here. Think you could fuck off now? I think we'll keep sticking around, Titus. You'll be surprised at how quickly a theory presents itself if you keep looking. From the corner of your eye, you see a little bird fly into the bush, right behind mm -hmm. the window, behind Titus's back. This is a very low check, but let's Nothing try it. Is happening. The pieces are there. But they remain unconnected. No, no, Sorry, we can do this. You're not coming up with anything. Again, the pieces are there. She could have done it. So they give up. Your mind is a relaxed muscle. It's so nice and easy to give up, isn't it? On blissful idiot. Say something. I'm gonna take off now. Okay. So I think we're gonna have to go take a look at the the thing. The ice cream maker. And if we can get it open and get that to Suna, Hopefully there's like a decent payoff for that quest and we can up our drama and try to get Klaza, Klazier to come with us.
There's also probably ways to just progress things without talking to either of them. There's got to be something. Like, it would be very weird for a game that lets you so, like, freely customize your character to require the intellect skills to actually solve this. Like, there would be no way to do it otherwise. Okay, let's try this multi-tool. This orange machine is buzzing like an old submarine. It has a hand crank. Okay, pressure. physical instruments. So let me actually check all my clothing. Physical instruments. Uh, let's see. Plus two to interfacing. That's pretty good. Threshold. I'm looking for other. Plus one physical instruments, plus two, plus one shivers? Or is that the same thing as. Where was it? There was something else I had here that was plus one physical instrument. And now I don't know. Oh, just the tank top. Let's give it a try. This orange machine is buzzing like an old submarine. I squeak beneath your Kabalzun multi-tool, but your fingers slip away from it. Unfortunate. So what else can I do? Do I have other physical instruments checks? There's an abandoned lorry physical instruments check that I can redo? I don't remember what that one is. And a barred door. Oh, I remember the barred door. Uh, I guess let's go check out the abandoned lorry. So the abandoned lorry was this way. A lorry, a bed, the smell of sick. There's something wrong about the passenger seat. The seating fabric has been pulled tight over the lower side of the seat where the toolbox should be. Ooh, our perception showed us some new stuff. Peel off the cover on the a passenger seat. Of neatly folded papers has been stashed behind the seating fabric. You see three maps depicting a large metropolitan area. It's Revachon. Some of its Oh, is this like a different way to get the map we already have? Bonne prise. Fold open the topmost map. map. Displays the elevated motorway called 881. The intake leading to Martinez is marked with a blue X. There's another X on the off ramp at a place called the Old South. Toll booths at the intakes are marked with a circle. It looks like there are scant few ways of getting onto the elevated motorway that run over Jamrock. 
and this person knows them all. There, hundreds of thousands of motor carriages roar on the 881, high above the mass of brown and red roofs that is Jamra. The commuters don't even look down. The world ceases to exist outside the windshield. Where does the road come? Through the middle income neighborhoods there, by the river, and then to Stella Maris and La Delta for work, while the men and women of Jamra scuttle to their fates below the road. This Hold up in the second map act. from the 30s displays a complex system of storm sewers underneath a sub-district called the Pox, old military hospital right adjacent to the 41st precinct. No storm will ever drown Revachol, the great solution to the riddle of history. Wind, wind rips through the empty hallways of the once great military hospital, now just a ruin under an overgrown park. Beneath the hospital, great sewer tunnels hum and vibrate with life of their own. What is that Rattle sound? Of motor carriages and lorries driving through long forgotten tunnels, lit by gas lights. Look the at the third map. map. Displays a labyrinth of service tunnels left over from the construction of motorway 881. A few routes have been marked with a pen, where the tunnels and sewers surface near the eminent domain and a traffic island in central Jamra by the lake. What does all this mean? The smugglers are secretly using the motorway to transport their goods and materials. They've infiltrated the East Motor Tract, most likely. The RCM patrols most of these auxiliary roads, though apparently not all of them. Where did the contraband end up? The distribution network looks certainly large, yet still vague enough. It doesn't reveal much about the Besmerti behind it. Besmerti, that sounds the vaguely familiar. The Revacholian crime syndicate. They see themselves as the inheritors of the 14 Revacholian Indo tribe, but really they're just violent gangs vying for control on the west side of Revachol. With cool names like La Puta Madre and Aura Masta, it's a dark parody. Who do you it's think is behind this? The union, which is those some logistics. His operation has spread everywhere on Jamra. If it's that widespread, then Madre remains the most likely suspect. Here's bad news. There have been attempts at a serious investigation before, but they haven't ended well for those involved. Lieutenant Kitsuragi is a brave man for saying Madre's name without the winces and whispers that usually accompany it. Especially bad news for cops who may have something in their past they don't even know is there. Somewhere on a hidden field, a flash of light, a whirring sound. Camera lenses focus on a man in a ragged police uniform standing in a field of blood red poppies. A blurry figure dressed in white stands right by the camera. The bedraggled cop is holding a manure fork. Don't hurt me, he whimpers. But why, Ooh. why would I hurt my own P.O.? Asks the man in white. What kind of an animal would do such a thing? Return the stack of papers distance. under the seat. I'll have forensics go over the lorries and pay these up later. The stack of maps looks just like before, barely noticeable. The movie stars look silent. Uh, let's check the pedals. Under the steering wheel to get a better look. See, but one odd detail does catch your eye. A and sandpaper, sandpaper. Yes. sandpaper. Do the honors, he thinks. Can Which means that the missing lady driver was present at the lynching. Wait, Ruby? Looks like her, yes. And she's also the one running the dra drug like trade with a handful. The person at the lynching was Ruby. Do you think that Hardy and his boys could also be involved in the drug operation? Uh, we should those jerks the definitely. To see on the, matter. the movie stars are seen. My These posters? There's definitely perfume in the air. It's spicy. Stop and wonder what's that smell. Sweet juniper scented perfume. Probably grenade number five. Study the center for feeling of tenderness. Wait, doesn't she? Enough of your posters. Look, examine the radio. There are so many radio stations. Would well, anyone need so many radio stations? Organization like Is there anything we can do with the radio? The ghostly actresses and the 
Rusty. Pull out the toolbox, unfold the newspapers, pick up the note. Push in the toolbox. I don't know what this physical instrument check is that I like can apparently do. It just says abandon Lori physical instrument challenging. Hold on, before I attempt this, what is, let me get all of my encyclopedia gear, because I know I have stuff for that. Interfacing, back to tie, don't want to change that. Conceptualization, encyclopedia. I guess I'll change back into this. An old monument stands there we go. Of the traffic. Even by the standards of the Philippian kings, old sumptuous Philip was known for his profligacy. Well, in what way? He blew through the whole national treasury, starting the decline of one of the penultimate century's greatest superpowers. His own maladministration foreshadowed the fall of the monarchy during the anti-centennial revolution, an end to his family line and the monarchy on the Insulindian Isola. Stories How did he manage to blow through the entire national treasury? Treasure chamber, where he stored unfathomable wealth, Krugerrands, bars of gold, ornate weaponry, armor, and various chalices. He called it the Sol Auro. It was obscene. There were whispers he slept on a huge pile of gold-dipped feathers, like some obese dragon, instead of a bed, like a normal person. The man certainly knew how to live! Um... I would like to sleep on gold, but hustler wait, style. You haven't even heard about his fabled cocaine addiction. The what you now? See, old Philippe wasn't just good at squandering the national treasury, on gold and ceremonial weaponry, he was also a prodigious snorter of nose candy. Not just any nose candy, though. We're talking Royal Philippian Blow, allegedly twice as potent as the stuff you find nowadays. And purple. Philippian cocaine was purple. So he was addicted That's to nose candy, said, bloated druggy. years later, right before they entered out the Royal Mausoleum, and dumped his majesty's mortal remains in the Insulindian Bay. So where is he buried now? Waters of the Insulindian Bay, thrown there by the revolutionaries after they cleaned out the royal mausoleum. A group of marble pleurots still surround the king's vandalized tomb. A deathly cold wind sweeps up candy wrappers and old newspapers. What happened to the, the statue? The original was blown apart by communards, then further damaged during the landing of the coalition's airships during the turn of the century revolution when Martinez was leveled. Who restored the monument? Ago, a group of liberal, artistically inclined individuals, designers mostly, thought it would be ironic to restore the statue of the most wasteful ruler of Revachol in the poorest part of the city. The statue is supposed to capture the moment it was blown apart, like an instant frozen in time. A rear butterfly trapped in amber, floating on a sea of shit. That is such a bad Even idea. Martinez tend to agree, as do many prominent art critics and thought leaders with more nuanced social awareness than the young ironists. Mm -hmm. Philip III, the squanderer, however, with his bronze face up in the air, doesn't seem concerned about what the hoi polloi think of him in death. Not that he ever did in life, either. Okay, you finally solved that. Wow. You work hard. I do? Oh, yes. You hustle. You're a provider. It's tough out there, but you keep it real and provide. I guess I do, yeah. Like a horse. A workhorse. For hard work. What hard work Look do I do yourself. exactly? You're a human pedometer. You must have walked 200,000 steps 
down cracks asphalt, mosaic, sand, and linoleum after you reemerge. That is the sign of a hustler who never gives up. The world is harsh and people are evil. You didn't make it that way, and you won't let it break you. You ride. I ride till I die. That's just what it's like. Life and death. But you got gills on your side, baby. Got those black papers with the faces of the innocents on them. You bring in the Franco Negros and the Solas. It ain't easy, but you do it. Day in and day out. You didn't make the rules, but you won't lose. You're a cop and a sprinter and a money printer. Can't say I didn't make that silent guy give Can't say some of his money easier. You shook him. You're a killer. A shark. Uh, I guess I've made sure. some gills, sure. sure. And has it been easy? Is life easy? Have you not gone into cardiac arrest? Are you not about to have an anxiety attack or shoot yourself in the mouth? But you still hustle 24-7, ride or die. Now, ask yourself, are you rich? No, I'm actually That's not. right. You work harder than anyone. You almost rode yourself to the grave, and you're still practically a hobo. Why is that? The system is broken. The system is broken. The establishment is keeping me down. That's not the fuck here attitude you're used to. What is this? Why are you so poor? Uh... I don't know. Why am I so poor? G-Man's got his jam-covered sticky fingers in your pocket, stealing from you every time you buy, sell, walk, talk, fart, so much as sneeze. Aren't taxes almost non-existent in the Gossam Estate? That is rubbish, y'all. I thought there were no taxes. Both, but they got those indirect modes of taxation. Sales tax, excise duty, extraction tax. This tax that doesn't even have a name. Plus, there's the stuff people in other countries pay for that makes them ask for more money from you here. The Gossam Estate's a myth. In total, the coalition government is taking 98% of all your money. Uh, are you sure that seems what like a pretty big sure money about? number? They're milking your nipples. Aren't you see? Aren't you sick and tired of having bloody nipples? I like opt in, but only a little. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. It's all about the tax issue, hustler. No other problem in the world is as pressing as top marginal tax rates. And don't you fucking forget it. So what does that thought actually do for us, if I look at it? I lose empathy. So all of that aside, what else can I do? I can talk to Andre. I can do an interfacing thing with a mirror. There is a barred door somewhere still, apparently. In the cargo container. Okay, so the, oh, the barred door. I remember where the barred door is, Never mind. Whoops, not start. I do want to switch into better glasses. I like raising the Inland Empire because it makes my clothes talk to me more, I think.
It's interesting because my blue skills have all been so close to zero the whole game. I don't think I've ever been getting those um, like little blue dots from them. And now I'm getting them and it's very different. The musty smell of a potato cellar. Interesting. Interesting, I can't investigate the wall right now. There it is again. There's a spectral scent haunting this pair, no doubt. And it smells like sea brine, mostly. Because it's a pair. Years of turmoil, of hopes and dreams, ground beneath the inexorable tides of capital. Close your eyes and take a deep breath. The first thing that strikes you is the overwhelming brine. You imagine yourself underwater. A hundred-legged arthropod scuttling along the murky silt at the bottom of the sea. But then the unmistakable reek of seagull shit hits you. Buoyed along on the air currents. An acrid melody atop moldering cords of wood rot and heavy fuel oil. Still smelling for communists, detective? Yes. Well, I'll be over here when you finish. His impatience is feigned. He's actually curious to see how this personal errand shakes out. What the lieutenant thinks is irrelevant. Your political olfaction cortex is lighting up like a holiday display. The scent of communism is overwhelming. And it's coming right from that balcony over there. You mean from Sandy? The precocious communist youth. A symbol of a kinder, more hopeful future. Now's your ch a chance to establish contact with the future. What a beautiful, terrible thought. Let's try it. What's the worst that could happen? Hello again, officers. Have you come to admire my mural? Uh, that could go bad. Attempt to establish contact. About politics. I'm looking for comrades to help me fire up the great Mazovian sausage grinder. Will you help me? <laughs> oh, that's very nice. The little piggy wants to make sausages. Out of what? His little piggy friends? No, out of the bourgeoisie. Oh, little Piggy is a big bad communist now. Sure, I know someone who'd love to talk the ideological stuff. You're looking for Stepan. Who's Stepan? A right communist who runs a mega cool and very secret meeting. Does the Stepan happen to go around in a white jacket? Will you help no. me find him? Is it money you want? Here, take some. I've got plenty. What I want from you is better than gold. Don't look so deflated. Whatever she asks, you keep your chin up. What's a that? Grin extend a laughing scarf. That's hilarious. This is gonna be bad. Oink for me, piggy. Just once. Oink, oink. Wow. <laughs> that was easier than I expected. It's almost like you've been wanting to do it this whole time. A cool, damp feeling ripples through you. You realize you needn't have rolled over quite so easily. The lieutenant, needless to say, is not impressed. Sounds like you're really serious. Can't we just have fun man. here? It's touching, <laughs> sort of. Can't I just make fun of him? <laughs> Stepan's group meets only at night. In an old room in these apartments here. It just so happens you're in luck. Their weekly meeting is tonight. Poke your snout around sometime after 10 p.m. and you might just find them. 
Can you, can you tell me about the Stiban? Not like the play acting you've been doing. The rest you'll have to see for yourself. Why do I feel oh, like there's a catch? Smart pig. Because there is. See, Stiban's a bit on the paranoid side. He's got all these mega secret passphrases to keep out infiltrators and the like. You can't join the meeting without one. <coughs> Not to interfere in your personal errand, but I wonder whether it might have something to do with that phrase Maniano mentioned over here. Wait, what phrase? Oh right, good thinking, Kim. I guess this is what happens when two pigs put their heads together. That's enough. Off with you then. Catch you later. So, if we come back at night, I can make a lot more progress on that quest. That's probably going to be an interesting one. Was this the barred door? No, that's a different one. This was the barred door. This door has been closed with a padlock. Hmm. I thought that was the barred door. Is that not the barred door? Yeah, it just says barred door. That looks like the apartments. Unless those are the apartments back there. Oh, I think I, yeah, okay. I think I got it wrong. I think the barred door is somewhere in the commercial area. But where? I wish there was like a feature or something to just like click on a white check and get like a more detailed thing about it. Like maybe a screenshot or something of like when you first discovered it or something. Mm -hmm. Or I also wouldn't mind something like, uh, sound of running water. So someone's down there. What were the other checks? Oh, I can go do the cargo container and the hawthorn tree. Well, here's the hawthorn tree. The gnarled hawthorn tree on Rue de Sanji's lane. A winter. 
rudimentary breeze blows by. Ooh, wait, I have a bunch of stuff that boosts interfacing. Like these gloves. Anything else? Yeah, nothing else. As you fold your fingers into a fist, you realize you could knock anyone out. Your movements cause tiny little clicks, like dice rolling somewhere far away, as the plates reorient to your motion. Decked out in future armor, like Arden a cop on a bee. At one sleek and light, adds a glow. You really do feel more confident. Invulnerability does that. Even partial invulnerability. Yeah, Make I want the pulse. Before you have all the pieces. In the meantime, you should analyze. Remember, Vulnerabilities? this is a highly specialized kinetic redistributor meant to stop bullets. Wear it. For the day you have to fight some. Hmm. Will we have to? The gnarled hawthorn tree. Okay, let's try it. it like really? Labyrinth. You just okay. Can't get... Ooh, that that one hurts to get wrong. Let me see. Fairweather. So I bet if we research that, that actually helps us out a lot. But let me see. I actually might just leave these on because these other ones just don't quite boost skills I want boosted. Uh, what else can I do? I am like not doing great in terms of progress. There's a lot more checks that I need to pass than uh, I can do. I think I'm going to have to see, do I have any checks? Still here. Nope, Stuck those are both locked. Try talking to this guy just to see if he'll do something new now that I have better stats. You're going to waste less of my man loses stark skepticism. What's it to you? Am I a suspect? Done no crime. I only fight for the rights of people. We're all workers, right? Workers stick together. Eminent domain, jamrock, backgrounds, and odd jobs. Work at territory. Ring a bell. Never heard We're of done it. Here. Guess there's not much I can say. Ooh, what's this? Ooh. I got a very good healing item out of that. That's good. I feel like talking to Everard could do stuff, but most of the time he just seems like, I don't know. Like any attempt to take help from Everard is gonna involve, like it's gonna make things harder down the line. Even though there's not that much 
down the line left at this point. Because I don't know when the game ends. I've never played it outside of this stream, but it sounded like it only, the game only lasts a few in-game days. So I wouldn't bet on having passed Friday to really get stuff done. Okay, I don't think I have any clothes that boost rhetoric, so I'm just gonna try this. Before the Carver container, its draw has to despite the dirt that surrounds and trails you. A beacon of light emerges from deep within you. Is there anybody in there? That is fine, detective. Try again. There's someone just in there I'd like to talk to you. Hear a click, then a rattle. Wait, what? <laughs> I need to know what this is. Also, for the record, how do I pass an 8% check but fail a 72? These dice rolls. <laughs> Squint. The, mist, the light beams bend around his face and scatter in a thousand directions. This is so because weird. The laws of physics do not apply here. They are suspended, distorted, and echo. Trying to visualize the physics at play. Also, my money counter is like aneurysm. wild. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> it's uh. stillness only your tongue moves flickering as you utter what's going on in here you can't hear him exactly yet you're able to understand every word he says it is very strange an overwhelming hum covers everything voice doesn't escape from Who are you? <laughs> oh, I haven't been asked that question for such a long time. I don't meet a lot of people outside my circle these days. Anyhow, my name is Tristan Theodore, investor, license holder, and extremely high net worth individual. And you are? Mr. Theodore, I am Lieutenant Quincy Sodak of the RCM, and this is my partner. Harrier Dubois. Harrier Dubois. I must admit, the name suits you very well. How did you oh, become no, so rich? Not this thing. What's the oh, matter, no. Kim? It's just that we've got this murder to solve, and yet you go around asking everyone about the money. And every time I ask, are you sure this is related to the case, you say, sure, yes, I think it is. And yet, it never seems to get it. <laughs> it's quite all right. I'm used to the question by now. In this land, I inherited my fortune from my grandmother, who herself was an extremely high net worth individual, Patrick Graham. All I did was take her fortune and invest it prudently. Believable as it makes more than I get a skill not to fall on that fortune or fall in those bad choices and unsupervised gay policy. And blood. What's it like being an extremely high net worth individual? I gotta tell you, at first, being rich is a lot of work. You must work hard because everything is so darn expensive. You know, prices increase exponentially at this income level. But then, once you prove why this is a, it's nearly impossible for me to 
Yeah, people are working their butts off while you just chill here. That's what I'm just I think it's perfect just You're using your own your money as its own justification. I used to be an idealist just like you, but the truth is that we have no objective system by which to measure someone's value other than the market. allocates resources among men is invisible and cruel, but it is steady, measured, indeed, it is just. Capital Say nothing. Makes one speechless, does it not? Wines like the sun that rises from beyond the horizon after a full moon red. Hey, hey, all this talk about money has made you lose the thread. What is going on? That's what you need to ask about. There's something strange about you. Well, I don't know how to put it. You look somehow a little different. No, I mean, I can't even see you. It's just as if something is happening to the light. Or what? In essence, it's saying that when an extremely low net worth individual meets an extremely high net worth individual, some of the laws of physics cease to apply. Are you telling me that you are so rich that light literally bends around your face? Really? A triple digit billionaire. Kim, are you seeing this weird stuff? To be frank, all I see is a gentleman who is unusually well dressed for Martinez in a cargo container, which I admit to be part of. Yeah. I imagine that does look strange to you. I can tell. What are you doing in this container? This is a great way to get around. It's fun, it's safe, and it gives me lots of time to think. By the way, let me now ask. We're in Martinez, a district of Revachal, the former capital of the world. I remember walking its streets as a teenager. There used to be a bowling alley in Sela Mare. I wonder if it's still there. It's a shame I can't get out and explore myself. One of the downsides of being an extremely high net worth individual is that mobs of low net worth individuals are constantly banding together to ask for money. Why don't you help them? You've got so much money it can make a, it can't make a difference to you. Do you travel from place to place via shipping container? So you're saying being rich isn't worth the hassle? I do not say that at all. Being rich is great, but just don't tell anyone I told you that. You're a rich investor, right? Can I have some money? Asking people for money. It does not reflect well on the RCM. And to be perfectly frank, I can't afford to look worse than I already do. 
Right, that was extremely unprofessional. I apologize. Playing the pity card, are we? Whatever gets us over the moon, maybe. And you may know, us high net wealth individuals, we don't care for lots of cash and assets. Investments and liquidity are enemies of one another. And you, you only have coins for cooking a shit. Here is three reals. How much could you cook for me? Thank you for your kindness. You know, These ultra liberal types love losing huge sums of money on ludicrous proposals. Ergo, you should come up with a plan that's totally dead in the water. As fun as that looks, uh, those are red checks with a 3% success chance. I think. Uh, Whatchamacallit. As cool as that check was, uh, I would prefer to, you know. If I'm gonna try those red checks, uh, I should have a plan. <laughs> You know, I should go in with all my best clothes and maybe some points in those stats. Which honestly, I may just not have time to do before the end of the game, unfortunately. I don't know how much time I have left. I haven't talked to this guy in a while. What's he up to? Oh, hey, mister. I knew you'd be I had some oh, questions totally for you. Mister. Okay, I'm off. Leo still has nothing. Yes, Everard. This is not a fishing rod, is it? I don't know what that was about, but maybe Mr. we can ask Everard. A pleasure as always. You don't have to sit down this time, since you've already sat on that chair. Remember the container I asked you about? Turns out there's a mega rich light mega bending guy inside. Guy. He's so rich he could get in anywhere. I specifically told my guys to check all the containers for mega rich light bending guys. Nothing can Honestly, stop an innovative guys, mind. We might be moving all kinds of suspicious things through this harbor, but I won't be caught transporting the light bending mega rich. I have a reputation to protect. Yes, for God's you're sake, right. you're a socialist. I am a socialist. I'm going to catch the mega rich guy inside the container and harvest his energy to power the harbor's fog lights. <laughs> I shudder to think what you're going to tell me next, Harry. Let's Go over a couple it, things about me. Where your precinct is he doesn't really seem to know any more about it. Do you know anything about family. my family? Harry, you're not a family man. There's not one peep of family in here. Unless you think you're a family man. Do you strike yourself as a family man, Harry? You're right, That's I don't. That's why I like you, Harry. 
A good man knows both his strengths and his weaknesses. Harry, cop is dead. you're not simply a cop. You're a star. A bright shining star in the That's what I like about you, Everard. You get me. And I'm gonna help you shine. I'm gonna put you on all the big stages. Your name The giant neon sign reading Harry Dubois. Hanging from the Kavalsun Cr somewhere in Mirova, a beautiful woman sees the bright glow on the horizon and says to herself, Oh Where did you get that yes. folder? My friends in your organization gave it to me, Harry. This translates into Aha, you guys are so corrupt. I find that very suspicious. May I have your key? I'm afraid this is meant for union eyes only, Mr. Kitsaragi. I'm sure you understand. Let's talk about the matters for a moment. Let's not linger. Hmm. I don't like helping Everart with anything. I could try that red trick, but my drama is not great. Even if I wear clothes that boost drama, it's not that high, I don't think. Er, I don't know that. I guess I should check how many drama boosting clothes I have. So if I look at my clothes, gloves, okay, so I can wear a plus one, a plus total of plus two, Okay, I can get plus two to my drama. It's not the best. I think I would still want to put at least one skill point into drama before I tried that. So with that in mind, what else can I do? I can go... Back towards the fisherman shacks. That seems to be my best move here. All of my other options are going to involve putting a skill point into something. I want to know what this barred door is. get experience from something like I need to find a new person to talk to or a new thing to do I need to do something I guess I could go back and talk to Joyce I feel like talking to the company rep is like kind of outside of anything we need at this point, but maybe she has some type of new dialogue or something to go off of.
guess I could talk to... I could just try talking to Measurehead, although I think we're done with him. Yeah, I think we're done with Measurehead. Seems to me like Measurehead was just there to block the door. <laughs> Oh yeah, these guys. Can I do anything to these guys? That right is fucking Hey, pick Look who it is. Shrunken cophead material. Uh ooh, I could what's my half light stuff? Trick chemistry. Half light. Half light. I'm not getting a minus to half light from anything, right? I should probably also check that. Get hat, encyclopedia, rhetoric, composure. I think most of the stuff I'm wearing is just generic good stuff. Okay. Let's see. What's our success chance now? 83% chance. I'll take it. No, no, no. Don't ask anything. Be subtle and scary. The boys dream about being skulls. Use that. Wait, how? Suggest they're massive skulls. Come on. Those jackets what? are going to be the Skull Skulls. Kings in no time. Skulls don't have kings, I think. And we're not even in yet. Yeah, man, keep your voice down. Skulls don't take it lightly when folks pretend to be them. Prospect must be a hierarchical term. Probably in the lower. Not even prospects and already oh, aspiring to be king. Only prospects and already planning a coup in the Skulls. You are desperate. He gets it. Passive aggressive. Flattery. Shut the fuck up! Are you trying to get us killed? Now bring it to the jackets and, yes, start shouting. Please be quiet. What? What do you want? The jackets? You got it. No need for cruelty. Uh, oh, yes, the jackets. Okay, I get it. Skulls don't really wear. Fuck. The lieutenant watches the boys take their jackets off with mild amusement. I'm absolutely okay with not having either one. Don't you want to express your individuality? I'm not. I don't have a jacket anymore. Good. I wanted you not to express your cold hearted cop. Well, whatever, I'll take them both then. I'm fine. The jackets are meant to complete each other. If a man was standing alone on a street corner with this written on his back, it'd just be an individual that has taken a liking to you, Ryan. I don't know, Eric. It's cold out. Yeah, let's get out of here. The cops fucked us. All right, we got jackets. So I'll go back to wearing my like generic stuff. And I think I liked wearing the. Oh, I already am wearing the polo. What was the other half-life thing? Oh, the gloves. Well, let me check out our new jackets. Ooh, plus one drama. That's good. So. 
So, can almost do that. Let me go to the fisherman shacks, I guess. Oh no, you know what I was gonna do? I was gonna go talk to Joyce. Look at this. Son, sun shivers off the white on blue police livery of the motor carriage. Wait, why am I even thinking about this? Wasn't I supposed to? Is something important? Something murder related? There's always something important. Doesn't mean even at a standstill, the unibody Caprice Kanema looks sleek and dynamic. The cabin is tilted frontward to give it a more aggressive, hunched look. Someone has waxed it recently. That machine puts the loco back in loco motion. Very you cool. Want to take a closer look? What's it packing there? I reckon that's a seven liter V12 there. That's what, a seven, seven liter V12? V12? Supercharged. Saying these words brings an immense joy. A fine machine. Yes. An extraordinary machine. It's nice and all, but why so modest? Put some. It's a bit girly right now. Fit it with some proper off road components. With a winch and mud yeah, tires, we can take it off the beaten path. Yes, this is clearly a sport motor carriage. Okay, let's move. I guess updating his machine is not something he wants to do. see what Joyce has to say about anything. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? I found my badge, by the way. Fast, observantly, like an electronic printer. Pleased to meet you, Lieutenant W. Freighter Dubois. I am glad to see a man of high qualification. The thi what can I help you with, Lieutenant Tia Freighter? Talk to Everard Claire. And how did you finally time to choose sides? Uh. I don't know, because I don't really like either of them. I think I'll just say it's not important if I liked him, I was doing my job. The RCM does not take sides in this. I hope it doesn't come off any other way. Of course. And I don't expect you to share anything he told you with me. I'm not a corrupt verm myself. However, if you felt like discussing, how could I stop you? Are we not human? Are we not curious to hear another person's take it's only natural we would only be gossiping tell her she'll like you for yes your disgusting necktie agrees completely let's gossip i'd rather talk about something else for now if you don't mind let's not have him down the road mention that he's helping look for a gun chat until then is there anything i can help you with Okay, so she's got nothing new to say. Who have I not talked to? I 
guess I haven't checked in on Bookstore Lady today. Again, esteemed officer, and hi, ace detective. Are you here for more book? Hmm. A small mountain of colorful board game boxes. There are numerous types of games for all ages. A lot of shelf space seems to be taken up by Wiral related. Wiral. I feel like that could open up some discussion things. I mean, everything you can buy seems to serve some sort of purpose. These shelves are over. A couple of spook novels hide amidst all the crime Let's literature. These are of books. Not, not a single mention of all the sure thing. A killing is declared. Dick Mullen, owner. He dies, and yes. more. Tragedy, come on. Come on, again? The fuck? Gosh, why? The very... Yeah, sure. After all this, you still haven't found the answer. Your quick eye notices a small caterpillar crawl. We have here a mistaken identity. Mullen's classic hard-boiled face. Why did this speak to me? Motifs of unstable identities and shocking betrayal. It's probably right. I'm a complicated guy. Full of contradictions. Let's try it. Mm, of course. Such violence and immorality. Uh. So let's see here. In your hand, you hold Dick Mullen and the mistaken identity. The brittle paperback the cover Examine the cover the pastiche of different scenes. In the foreground, a man in a dark overcoat. Clutch. The tagline reads, Detective Dick Mullen must prove his innocence after an old friend is murdered. Needless to say, it violates nearly every RCM regulation. Are you really reading that, Detective? I'm just That's skimming it. For the best. Those books aren't exactly famed for their tight plugging. The story Start opens reading. with a knock at the door. Detective Dick Mullen is greeted by an old friend, Charlie Spillane. Who's come to Mullen to ask a favor on this dark and Spillane needs Mullen to drive him in from Vespa to a small town along the Insulindian coast. Despite his friend's apparent agitation, Mullen does as he's asked, then returns home where he passes out drunk, as he does most nights. An extremely unprofessional and hurtful stereotype that's offensive to all upstanding officers of the law, but also extremely accurate. Hey, I'm Later. trying at least. You'll fall off the wagon sooner or two days later. Mullen is arrested by the Vespa police and charged with the murder of Charlie Spillane. At his interrogation, Mullen learns that Charlie Spillane was shot in a bar in the very town Mullen dropped him off in by a man matching Mullen's description. Desperate to clear his name, Mullen manages to convince the Vespa police to release him for three days so that Mullen may solve his friend's murder and prove his innocence. The cops release their prime murder suspect so we can find the real killer? The matter, detective? I don't know who's writing this, but I got a feeling they are experts. Resigned to the idea that his profession will rarely, if ever, be accurately represented in art and literature. They're not shitting you, detective. This is what the writers think passes for police procedure. Of course, he didn't, do, didn't it. do it. That's the whole premise of the book. Anyway, Munnin returns to the seaside bar where Spillane was murdered and meets a beautiful, mysterious woman named Diana Denerva. Denerva now it's getting interesting. was Spillane's lover and that he 
was mixed up with a local amphetamine smuggling operation. As soon as Munin begins pulling at strings, the whole conspiracy begins to unravel. Not only is the local police captain in on the amphetamine ring, so is the son of a powerful politician and a strung out art collector named Torval, each of whom has his own reasons for one outwardly. Tell me about the, the corrupt police, police captain. captain. Is a real law and order crypto fascist, a barrel chested man who's beaten his share of suspects to pulp. But he's also dirty and increasingly paranoid that someone's going to expose his role in the drug ring. He would certainly have the motive and the means, but the captain walks with a noticeable limp from an old war injury. Is it possible that he was able to conceal it long enough to commit the murder? A typical Tell me about the politician's quest. son. In all likelihood, he's just in over his head. He does bear a personal grudge against Elaine, though. A former prosecutor who nearly brought down his father's administration. The kid doesn't exactly have Dick Mullen's manly build, but he is the correct height. And while interrogating him at his home, Mullen did notice a certain oak coat that looks suspiciously like his own. What was that about an art collector? Is a strung out mess. Frankly, it's hard to imagine him holding a pistol steady enough to actually hit someone, let alone plug them three times in the chest the way Ospelain got did. That said, Torvald and Spillain have a long history. And while interrogating him, Mullen discovers that Torvald was once involved with Diana Deneuve. Could it be that this is all over a sordid love triangle? One Let's get on with the story. Diana Deneuve comes to Mullen's hostel room in tears. The two of them drink half a bottle of vodka, and soon they're seeking comfort in each other's arms. Yes, comfort and pleasure. The warmth of another human's touch. The burning taste of liquor on her full, sweet lips. Well, that testimony won't be admissible any longer. How does Mullen expect to solve the murder the if he's sleeping with the witness? Solving a murder counts for nothing if all the evidence gets thrown out in court over police misconduct. That's just Dick Mullen's modus operandi. He might bend the rules, but he closes cases like no one else can. I'm not sure I'm As happy with this, but maybe the story will turn it around. Cigarette. Diana Deneuve turns to Mullen and says, By the way, Dick, there was something else I meant to tell you. I love you. The name of the true killer always aims for the center of mass. Whatever it is, Mullen never hears the words. A blow to the base of his skull knocks him out cold instantly. When Mullen uh. comes to, Deneuve is dead on the hostel bed next to him. To make matters worse, his clothes are covered with her blood. Mullen treasures his blood-stained clothes and flees the hostel, knowing it's only a matter of hours before the cops discover Deneuve's body, if they haven't been tipped off already. Fleeing a crime scene, destroying evidence, even if Detective Mullen didn't commit the murder. He should be facing years behind bars. Dick Mullen won't be sent to the clink for the sake of some legal nicety. The heat is on. If Dick Mullen can't solve both murders before the cops catch up to him, he's going away for life. Can you solve the case before the cops close in? Wait, I got some questions first. Why did everyone close to him wind it's up dead? It's a dangerous line of work, but somebody has to do it. That what's the matter? Afraid you've been hacking up your friends' bodies in the night. Have you gone over everyone? Is anybody missing? Uh, why did he become there a detective in the first place? When he wasn't a detective. He was born a detective. Was I not For born to be a detective? You cease to read the story on the page and see the book for what it is. A collection of brittle, cheaply printed pages held together by glue made from the hooves of horses. From nowhere, you hear the screech of sneakers on a waxed floor, and you feel the burn of rope against your hands. Are these figments of some other level? You won't find the answers you're looking for here, in other words. My father said the crime is so evil, so... Detective? Okay, maybe Thank not. What? There are parts worth saving. Friends maybe and family. have those. I've got Just him. make sure you don't lose him. You'll not find another like him. It's true in more ways than you know. But then, 
What does this book know? It's just uh, so any more questions. Detective. Figured it all out. Charles Verlaine and Deanna Deneur. Love did what? commit. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. There's never a straight answer with you, is there? You now go on. Find out who you finished the book. furiously flipping through pages. Even as you know these books follow a series of well-worn tropes, you find yourself complete. You try to grab the pages as they come loose, but your fin dozens of pages scatter across the floor. The last fifth or so of the book seems to have been lost. It's possible that you could gather and reassemble the pages, but it would take way Stupid old horse glue. The problem is mass market paperback. They are not made to last. Perhaps this is a sign that you should get... Don't forget, it could have been your hand. You hold four fifths of Dick Mullen and the mistaken why? There's truly no point. You'll never know who did it. The right, I should just quit. You hold four fifths of Dick Mullen. Put the book away. I was hoping that would lead to like some experience points or something. Shelves but I full guess of not. Several ma the maps look old and faded. The map this of Insulin Linden. What else? In the north radiating outwards from you. The Suzerain. New Town. Cities. On Caillou. River Shop. Lost Little Pearl. The ocean Look at the edges. Apart. It connects you to the 850 million people live. Hmm. Oh, maybe I could talk to the little girl. Maybe she'll know something about. Hi, Ace Detective. Are you here for more books? Ripped before I get to the Good end. Morning, Mistaken um, identity. I'm very sorry, sir. I haven't read that one yet. Okay. See you around. Can I complain to her and get a refund? Hello again, esteemed officer, and welcome to crime. Oh, I'm very sorry, sir. Some of these old paperbacks just don't have the durability. Farewell for now, book peddler. I was really hoping to get something. Uh, let me see here. What else can I do? The dented yellow mill. See a set of steering levers, a radio microphone, a pull out. Hmm. Tell you what. I think. In order to make some more progress here, I'm gonna have to find some check. Ooh, actually, I could try. Whoops. Let me look at my like whole journal. Let me see every quest that I have. Spirits. Locate a working firearm that shoots 40. 4.46.
Oh, I could do that one. Or that one. Or that one. I'll probably call it a stream soon, but let's see if we can get Gart to let us sing karaoke first. Opened Twitch to see who was live to find a raid, and it just started talking to me. Hopefully, that didn't just like pick up on stream. Or maybe if it did, it's not a huge deal. But I still prefer not to. I need to sing karaoke now. Okay. He tries not to look at you. It's dangerous to acknowledge the karaoke man. Whoops, I did not mean to do that. Why do you even have the PA system it's if no one's the... going to use it? It's for no one. It's a prop. I'm not letting anyone use it after the great karaoke catastrophe of 44. What happened in 44? killed because some arsehole wanted to sing karaoke. That's... sad. When was the last time you had a band playing bands, here? It's for clients. Some clients, okay? Not you. I'm a real client. I've paid my bills and I have the right to use the karaoke well, machine. We don't have any tapes. They all got stolen. It's all right, I have my own song with me. The man in the vest and the violet shirt stares at the tape you've just given him. This is the look of a man who's defeat. Fine, fine. Climb on that stage and do your thing. Just get out of my hair. I'll plug it. I'm having it uninstalled. Oh yeah, time to do the damage. Let's do it. The stage is all set up for your performance. You feel a little dizzy. So, uh, are you ready for your thing now? Let me know when I should turn on the karaoke carousel. There Around the room are some first. people out there, but mostly, yes. You could always do it in the evening. It will be less scary with a lot of people. Leave. That is a one-time drama check, so I'm going to have to do better at it. I think I'm just going to call it a stream for now. I might, I don't want to look up spoilers, but I might try to see if I can find like other quests or something that I haven't done or started and see if that'll get me the experience I need. So we need to put points in a couple different skills. Uh, but while I am talking about that, uh, if you haven't already, you should join my Discord. Let me make sure I have a link. Here we go. Join with that link. There might be a better, there might be a different one somewhere else. Might be a different one in my on my Twitter, but there's a link. Uh, yeah, join my Discord. Follow me on places. Uh, if you have a Twitch Prime sub, those are free to use. Uh, so you may as well use them. I was gonna do something. I was going to check if anybody is streaming this game specifically. 
because uh, there are a couple people live who I follow, but no one who I like know well enough to just raid them if there's nobody else around. I'm also open to taking suggestions. Uh, okay. Let's raid. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know any of them. I mean, there are lots of channels I've raided where I just don't know who they are. Uh... Let's raid this person because they are early in the game. So I don't think I would be spoiling anything for myself or anyone here. So raid channel, they are there we go. Let's start this raid. So yeah, join the Discord. Uh, follow me on places. I will be back on Wednesday for Persona 3. I will finish it this time, so help me God. See you on Wednesday. Have a good evening. Let's raid.